good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you might be watching this video um god bless you all god bless you all you know let us pray father god in the name of jesus we thank you for this moment we thank you for this day and time hallelujah that you have given us father god in the mighty and precious and wonderful name of jesus we thank you lord god we're here to glorify you we're here to honor you father god we just want to show you gratitude lord god for just choosing us to see this new day hallelujah thank you jesus lord we come boldly before your throne of grace lord god but most of all we want to honor you for who you are we want to thank you we want to bless your holy name father god in the name of jesus we thank you so much lord god for loving on us we thank you so much Lord God, for just being here for us, Lord God. Thank you for promise to never, promising to never leave us or forsake us, Father God. You said even when our mother and father forsake us that you would take us up, Lord God. So we thank you, Lord God, when people leave us, Lord God, when people abandon us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And when it seems like there's nobody who understands us, Lord God, we thank you that you do father god we repent of coming to you as if you're the last resort lord god we repent of coming to you lord god coming to you after we've 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 consulted with man lord god but we know it should be the other way around father god in the name of jesus we thank you for your holy spirit that guides us father god we thank you for your holy spirit that leads us father god in the name of jesus so right now i pray for everyone watching lord god i pray for everyone watching lord god that you would give them the peace and the strength that passes all understanding the peace that pass of all understanding that guard their heart and their mind through Christ Jesus in the name of Jesus. Father God, we honor you. We glorify you. We thank you. We lift your name on high, Father God. We love to sing your praises, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you that as we honor you, as we glorify you, demons tremble, Father God. We thank you that the walls of Jericho come down, Lord God, because we march around in the spirit realm, Lord God, and we march around those strongholds in the spiritual, spiritual realm we plead the blood of Jesus against them. We rebuke all those things that's coming up against our family, that's coming against our home, that's coming against our marriages, that's coming against our life. And we thank you, Father God, for your covering this time forth and even forevermore. In Jesus' name, Father God, I pray that you would lead this conversation, Lord God, that you would lead, Lord God, this video, Lord God, that you would lead, Lord God, that you would speak to your people, none of me and all of you. Lord God, when we come on here, Lord God, we, we decrease so that you can increase in us, Lord God. We are just vessels. We are just mere vessels. Our righteousness is as filthy rags. Lord God, we are not worthy. Without you, we are worthy of nothing. So we thank you for your mercy and your grace right now, Lord God. I pray that you would lead this conversation, lead your people, Lord God, give them what they what they they need this day to help them to keep press like Paul said I press I press towards the mark Lord God so give them your word to help them press Father God in the name of Jesus and we thank you for that so hello everyone hello 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 God bless you all God bless you all I just felt the need to come on and talk to you and let you know don't grow weary and well doing okay don't grow weary and well doing I'm driving but I just felt the need before I start my workday to come into you guys and tell you don't grow weary and well-doing because it is your season to reap, says the Spirit of the Lord. Don't grow weary and well-doing. I came on here, I was going to go another direction, but the Holy Spirit is to lead this thing because this YouTube channel does not belong to me. I'm not coming on here trying to tickle anybody's fancy, hallelujah. I'm coming on here to let you know what thus saith the Spirit of the Lord because I am just a vessel. So Father God, just continue to speak to your people. And I hear him saying, do not, do not grow weary in well-doing. Do not. Okay? Don't grow faint. Don't allow what the enemy is doing to try to cause you to go the different way. God has gave you a word. He's gave you specific instructions, okay, for the, for the direction that he is sending you in. You know who you are. He has given you specific instruction, and he said that he wants you to continue to go that way. But you have to understand that the enemy wouldn't be the enemy if he didn't attack the word of God. You have to understand that when God gives you instruction, the spiritual warfare comes in because the enemy wants you to go the opposite direction because he wants you to miss what God has for you. But he knows his time is short. He knows his time is short. So he's going to work overtime to get you outside of the will of God. For we walk by faith and not by sight. The enemy allows, he, he, what he does is he creates an illusion. He creates an illusion and he wants us to believe in what we see than what we know. 
Because the things of God, they are spiritual. They are eternal. You understand what I'm saying? And the enemy, what he likes to do is he likes to, to mess with your flesh. What you see, what you feel, what you're feeling in your emotions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what you're hearing, what you're seeing, what it's looking like. You understand what I'm saying to you? That's like if I was to, if you were blindfolded and I was to inject, say, because you know they got all this artificial stuff now, and I was to inject, okay, some grape juice type stuff that would change the taste of a strawberry, and I have you blindfolded, okay, and I give you, and I have you taste testing, and I give you this strawberry that I have injected with grape juice, and you bite it, and you say, you bite it, you know it don't feel you know if you had grapes before you know grapes around and they but you bite into this thing and you like well it tastes like a grape but my something is telling me that's a strawberry but it tastes like a grape i've now created an illusion are you going to believe what you know or are you going to believe what it tastes like or what it seemed like you understand what i'm saying so we walk by faith and not by sight Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Listen, this is this is what the Holy Spirit has given to me. Um, listen, you got to have a relationship with God. You cannot take everything that everybody says on this YouTube and run with it. Okay? you. That's why a personal relationship with God is everything. It's very important. Read your Bible. Get some books pertaining to what you're going through. Have the Holy Spirit show you what you need. You understand what I'm saying? So that you could get where you need in Him spiritually. You have to build yourself a spiritual. You can't just be searching on YouTube and searching this place, that place for a word. Because where's the confirmation going to come in? You have to hear from God for yourself. You are very capable. But we have to start to deny ourselves certain things so that we can hear the Lord quicker. So you might have to deny yourself the fellowship over here with this one and this one and that one and being at this next event and going to this one there. And then you might have to take the time in your quiet place to get with God and to hear from him. Because a lot of us are going through crucial things right now. The enemy is trying to attack kingdom. He's trying to attack kingdom business. The things that look like Christ. He's trying to attack it. Because he wants, he wants the world to outshine the things of God. You understand what I'm saying? That's why the Lord said, we're in, we're in this world, but we're not of it. We're in it, but we're not of it. I'm sweating because I don't have my ear on because I don't want anything to interfere with what I'm trying to say. So I, it's hot. And I got these windows closed, but this word got to come forth. You know what I'm saying? Because there's somebody waiting on the other side of the fence. They need to know. Don't grow weary in well-doing. This is that season. This, this is that season and you know why you know why and if you don't know why God is saying don't grow weary and well doing I need you to go get in your Bible and I need you to go read I need you to go you know what I'm saying I'm not saying you got to be a Bible scholar but I'm saying spend time with God because he wants he loves us and he want, he's always there waiting we be the ones here there and everywhere and ain't got no time for him and he's right there where he's, he's never left okay so don't grow weary and well doing you will reap if you faint not okay don't allow what the enemy is attacking you with to cause you to faint whether it's in your body whether it's in your homes whether it's in your finances whether it's in your marriages whether it's you know whatever it is don't grow weary in well doing okay because you will um you will you know what i mean just don't faint god has a perfect loving protective plan for your life he's not a man that he should lie i'm telling you this because i know the struggle and the spiritual warfare is real but it's not greater than the glory of god understand that you're fighting from a place of victory we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and powers and the rulers of this darkness of this present world spiritual wickedness in high places spiritual wickedness in high places but god has he's won the battle but he's fighting for you. The battle does not belong to us. The battle belongs to God. I have to constantly tell myself that. I have to constantly try to remind myself to be a doer of the word and not just a hearer only. 
be a doer of the word and not just a hearer only. I struggle with that because sometimes we go through things and we're so ready to defend ourselves. We're so really ready to jump up and say, but I'm not that person. I'm this, I'm that. I love you. I'm trying to make you understand that this is what God wants for you. This is what I want for you because I'm a child of God. I have the spirit of God in me and he wants you to have these things. This is what he wants. But we have to understand it's spiritual warfare. And sometimes we have to get silent. So I just wanted to share that with you all. I love you all. Hello to everyone who has joined, who has joined. This is a fellowship. This is a fellowship of believers. Those of us who understand what it is to live this life and we cannot live this life without Christ. I love you all. God bless you all. Thank you all for joining. Thank you all for just being here to fellowship with me. I, I, I appreciate it and I love you all. Have a blessed day.